Andy here, going nomad, aka Pigs on Bikes. A really quick video on plug sockets and adapters needed when you live in Cambodia. Okay, first thing I would say, don't worry too much about it. There's plenty of places that sell all kinds of adapters, all right? So don't spend too much time at home worrying about that kind of stuff because it doesn't really matter. Now, if you're in England and you've got the three pin standard rectangular plug uh, kind of thing, then I just leave it all there really, unless you've got anything specific that you wanna, you wanna bring with you. Um, but basically, the ones we use in Cambodia are like this, look. So you find a lot of low power things, just use... My camera's not really good there, is it? Let me try and get that in focus. Yeah, it may be a bit difficult. Okay, two pin, like this. A lot of the sockets you get are like this as well. I'll show you a bit more about this in a minute. Or well, the other thing that they use is the round, the round pin like this. Now, a lot of places have got these kind of sockets and they're really really basic oh really basic and you can see the flat blades you just sort of shove them in like that and they kind of work these ones have also got ones on the ends that you can put in it's all a bit it's all a bit old really and this is just what's in a normal you know we're in a normal house here so yeah like that let me give a good pull to get them out and let's give a real push to get them in as well it's not a very good video this is it never mind here we go and then like that now you notice none of them got an earth on there's no earth system here um it's all a bit heath robinson really you'll see other kinds of sockets around town uh, the majority of the things that you buy in Cambodia come with this. There's lots of places in town that sell uh, plugs that you can cut leads off of here and you buy these that have just got a screw through the case. Hang on, I'll see if I can show you one. I'll pause it for a minute, hang on. Yeah, so here's one of those plugs that I was talking to you about. You can buy these. There's lots of little shops. There's a shop down Watbo Road in Siem Reap that sells these for about 50 cents. And what you do is you unscrew this screw here and you can connect, easily connect. There's just two other little screws, two little screws, one for each of the plug prongs, if you like, and you screw the wire into those and then you screw the thing up. They're about a dollar. You can easily take your existing plugs off and put one of these plugs on. These plugs generally fit most things. So, uh, yeah, that might help. Hang on, I'll show you some more stuff. If I can get it to pour. So again, you can see here is just one of these standard three, three pin, uh, three plug extension sockets that they seem to put on and going into it is you know, it's, it's all it's, in England. We would use this stuff for wiring up speakers or wiring um, doorbells. It's just pair wire, and then it kind of comes up here and uh, into a screw connector. Um, let me pan out a bit. There we go, and then just a cable tie, and then it just runs up and it disappears through the wall and God knows where. So standard kind of electrics here in Cambodia uh, this is actually a system that was put in and this doesn't work at the moment but the family downstairs who own this we're on the top floor of their family home basically we rent the top floor of their family home from them they've got a generator that they connect to this and during power cuts of which at certain times of year they're quite quite significantly long power cuts they connect their generator up to this so during a power outage if they turn their generator on and connect does we can have electricity on their generator but it's not connected at the moment I'm sure that if we asked them 
during a power cut it would be and similarly here here is a 12 volt light a 12 volt light that uh, they have connected to a car battery and also so there's the mains operated light but this here is also uh, I don't know if you can see it yeah this is I can't focus on it this is also a 12 volt light system and this is for use during power cuts and that runs uh, like this down, <laughs> down to this socket which hasn't actually got a bulb in and then that disappears down to the floor and then downstairs they can connect that to their battery this is the light switch for the kitchen so you can see you can see the kind of stuff you're dealing with here now these are quite common as well these things which are combined light switches for the room and power sockets now we wouldn't have these in England because our lighting ring main and our power socket ring main have to be on two separate circuit breakers so we don't really have circuit breakers here we've got one main switch and a fuse and built into the fuse is the electric meter okay so there you go uh, I hope that gives you a bit of an idea uh, so yeah Andy here going nomad aka pigs on bikes like share subscribe email me at going nomad uh, one two three at gmail.com and uh, yeah have a look at this nice take care stay safe bye